Hello everyone. This video is going to talk uh, talk about a MATLAB script to zoom in on all the images in a folder the same way. So the purpose, rather than using, let's say, the Windows picture editing software or some other picture editing software, if you need to look at, to modify a large section of images in the same way. Uh, this is a good, the easiest way to do it that I find is just to use a simple MATLAB script. It starts off, this beginning code is, is exactly the same as another video that talks about operating on all files in a folder. So uh, you're going to start off, you're going to define a directory to open. So this is where your pictures are. It would be C colon backslash and then wherever your pictures are. Then you're going to define a directory where you're going to save your pictures. So this is another file that you define, and you, it would be C colon backslash some other some other place. You don't want them to be the same because then you'll start cropping the, the images that you've already cropped because it's going to write the cropped folders to the the save the dname save directory one at a time. Uh, and then there's a this. Test zero does every file in a folder. If it's test equals one, then it's only going to do the first file or the first the first image, so you can check and make sure your cropping crop setting is correct before you operate on all the files in the folder. And then we have all the little uh, the code to to get all the the image names and define where everything's going to go. So then once we get down here, we're going to start with. Uh, this is kind of repetitive. The image name is the file name, so that's just the same thing. And then we're going to use file to read, which is kind of standard MATLAB file convention or variable convention. We're going to say dname open backslash image name, and that's going to tell which uh, which file to read. Then you're going to use i is equal to i am read file to read to and then we're going to use this this bit of line i am crop we're going to crop i and then some some parameters where these four numbers are your x men your y men and then the width and height of the image that you want to see so it takes some practice to get used to that kind of variable setting rather than being a start a start and finish of X and a start and finish of Y, we're going to say, okay, this is the X men, this is the Y men, this is the width of the image that we want, and this is the height of the image that we want. There's another way where you can do it using the just the start of the X pixels, and the finish of the X pixels, and the start of the Y pixels, and the finish of the Y pixels, but I found this, this works a little better. And then we're going to show the image this i2 that we've cropped, uh, keep the border tight so we don't have a lot of boundary around it. We're going to get the current frame and then uh, save the current frame as a JPEG. We'll define H as get the current figure and then save as the current figure and then on our directory backslash z underscore image name. So whatever the image name was that was in the directory you're opening, it's going to go z underscore image name dot jpeg. JPG. And then this is a, a conditional statement to break out of the loop if, if we'd set test equal to 1 at the beginning. And then a simple counter to, to continue through the loop. So when we get to the end of the folder, it'll, it'll quit. So this is a simple way to crop all the images in a folder in the exact same way. So if you have a bunch of images of let's say an experiment and you need to modify all the pictures in the same way, let's say you're doing some type of image analysis and you want to ignore uh, a lot of the border the border area or something, then you can crop all the videos in the same way using this. I hope you found this useful and have a good day.